Okay, so the last part, and it's pretty short, uh, to this chapter deals with the uh, stadium factors and what we call the sportscape. Later in this uh, class in Module 3, we'll talk about place marketing. It's one of the P's of the marketing mix. So I won't touch a whole lot on this, uh, but stadium factors and the sportscape do impact our spectators uh, a great deal. And so when we talk about this, we're talking about the physical surrounding of the stadium. And that this physical surrounding of the stadium affects the spectators. Two things, desire to stay, as well as ultimately whether or not they want to come back or return. Uh, and this, again, is referred to the sportscape. And so it's important to understand the way that facilities are designed uh, are not done haphazardly or without any purpose. Uh, maybe some older facilities may look that way uh, and may have been done that way. But for the most part, they're developed for a very specific marketing purpose. And so, for example, let me give you, I worked in professional baseball before I went back to get my master's and Ph.D., worked for the Round Rock Express. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been to a baseball game or if you've been to a basketball game or hockey or something like that. You probably have seen this as well. Think about where the concession stands are located. Most of the time they're on what we call the concourse or the walkway surrounding the facility. And let's say you imagine yourself standing in line. Standing in line for concessions. You want to buy a hot dog and a, a soda uh, or whatever it may be. Are you looking at the field? In all likelihood, the answer is no. Um, sometimes you'll see at concession stands they'll have the TV up so that you can continue to watch the game. Well, when they designed the facility where I worked, which is the Round Rock Express, uh, the Dell Diamond, they specifically designed it in a way so the concession stands are turned 90 degrees. And so that you can stand in line all along the concourse, and while you're standing in line to your right or to your left, depending on where you're standing, you can still see the game. You can see the field just from your line. So people are more likely to go and buy concessions so they don't miss anything in the game. Something as simple as the physical layout of a facility can affect a consumer's uh, spectatorship and the, whether or not they're going to come back in the future, whether they had a good, good time or uh, whether they'll come back. And so things as the physical layout, uh, this is another way, to, a good way to look at this is uh, different aspects. The first one is stadium access. We'll talk about place marketing later. But the ease of entry and exit into a facility is a big deal for a lot of sports spectators. Uh, the way the facility looks, a good example is in San Francisco, AT&T Park, I think is what they call it, for the San Francisco Giants, um, was one of the first to really use technology in their uh, facility. Uh, Wi-Fi and those types of uh, different technology, and they're always evolving from that. Nobody else had ever tried that. The reason why I worked there is because of the tech influence that is in San Francisco and surrounding areas. Um, others might be more nostalgic. F uh, Fenway Park or Wrigley Field uh, are what they are, the icons that they are, because of the nostalgia that comes from the ballpark. Another one is uh, scoreboard quality. If you are on campus at SFA in 2016, um, the athletic department start, uh, built or had built uh, a scoreboard for football as well as basketball um, and any other event that happens in the Coliseum, um, partially because the sportscape itself wasn't great. The new facilities and ribbon boards, uh, the video boards and the ribbon boards that were around the facility really helped uh, in, encourage um, positive attitudes towards the, uh, the games that were being played. And the last one in this model is looking at perceived crowding. And so it is sometimes good to have a good crowd. Uh, it helps with the atmosphere. But at the same time, it goes back to what we were talking about a second ago, which is the stadium access, ease, entry, and exit into the facility. If it's too crowded. You don't want to go deal with the crowd. Um, I'd rather just sit at home and watch the game. And so all of these things impact what we had been talking about this, this whole time is their desire to stay in our repatronage or our return to the facility, our repurchase intention. If we can take, take care of the stadium itself and meet the needs of once our spectators, we'll be more likely to bring them back in the future. Uh, we're always competing with the couch as far as attendance goes. The 17-step commute, it's the 17 steps from my couch to my bed at the end of the night as opposed to that hour or two that it's going to take me to drive home from the game. Uh, we're competing with that all the time. So this chapter hopefully gave you a good idea, uh, understanding of spectators. Go ahead and make sure you've completed all the assignments. 
as well as the activities for Chapter 5.